Good morning, first graders. Um, we have been going over our favorite books, and while we've been going over those, we've been working on character setting, problem, and solution. So who can tell me what a character in a story is? The main person. The main person who the book is about. What about a setting? Where, where it is taking place. Where it is taking place in a problem and solution? Uh, something the character has a problem with. Mm -hmm. And what would the solution be? How they get out of their problem. How they fix it. So, can you guys give us some examples about what a setting is? Or settings in your life? Playground. The playground? Treehouse. Treehouse. Where are we at right now? Classroom. School. School. In the classroom. Nice job. Those are good settings. And we can find those in most books we read. So, um, we are going to com be completing a book talk over our favorite book. Uh, Scout, what's your favorite book? If you get a cat a cupcake. If you get a cat a cupcake. Audrey, what's your favorite book? Meatball. Meatball. All right, so with those favorite books, we are going to make a book talk, which is a little worksheet, graphic organizer over it, and it has four sections, character, setting, problem, and solution. So we're going to read our books, fill it out, sit in the author's chair, and we're going to tell the class about it. So um, when we present information, how do we do it? Do we hold the paper up close to our mouth? No. No? How come? Because then I can't hear you. Because they can't hear you. Do you face this way when your class is over here? No. Because they can't hear you? Do you right. talk loud or really quiet? Loud. 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 So everybody can hear you. Nice job. Okay. Um, when we finish these book talks, plan on sharing them with everybody using the presentation information we just did. We're going to do an example. I'm going to read the book, No David. And at the end, we're going to fill out a book talk together so you guys know how to do it. Who's read this book before? Nope. Nope. Only one? All right. So, no David. David's mom was always has always said, no David. No David. No, David, no. So what's a problem happening here? He's dirty. He's money in the house. He's money in the house. Who's the character? David. David. No, no, no. What's a problem you see here? The water's no overflowing. water. Yeah. Come back here, He's David. He's naked. He's naked. <laughs> Come back here, David. David, be quiet. Has anybody ever done this before? Bang, Bang on the pants. pants. Together. Yeah, did your mom tell you to be quiet? Yes. Yeah. Don't play with your food. Who plays with their food? Nobody? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, David. Go to your room. Settle down. Do you guys jump on your beds? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. I just broke her nose. <laughs> Stop that this instant. Put your toys down. Not in the house, David. Do we play sports in the house? No. No. I said no, David. Davy, come here. What do you guys think is going to happen after this? Get a hug. You think he's going to get a hug? Time out. Another time out? Yeah. Let's see. Yes, David. I love you, too. All right, so that is the book No David. So together, let's figure out how we can fill out this book talk. Who was the main character again? David. David. Okay, in the setting? His house. His house. Outside. He's outside. outside. Yeah. Where else was he? Uh, so he at school? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, what was the problem? He was muddy in the house. Yeah. He, he was always doing something wrong. You're right. Just kind of figure it out. So what was the solution? How did they... How did Ta David... Time out. He got a time out? Mom said no. And then mom said no. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to work through your book talks of your favorite book.
Nice job. Thanks. You guys seem to be getting close to the ending. All right, we're going to work on our presentations. Who would like to go first to present their book talk? Scout, can I come on up to the author's chair? <clears throat> what is the name of your favorite book? Um, if you get a cat a cupcake. Okay, who is the main character of your book? Cat. Tell me about the main character. She likes a lot of cupcakes. She likes a lot of cupcakes, All right? In the setting. It was at a house and a beach and a museum and a gym. And the problem. If you give a cat a cupcake, they come back for more cupcakes. And why did you select that as a problem? Because all the cupcakes are going away. You're right. Come. And what was the solution for cat in the book? Don't give a cat a cupcake. Correct. Nice job. Did you like this book? I love you it. love it. Yeah, hypothesize what you think would happen if the book didn't end. What you, if, all my cupcakes would be gone all away. All my cupcakes would be gone. <laughs> and that would be a problem. Yeah. All right, Scout. Um, can you pick the next person? Audrey! Audrey, come on up. What is the name of your book? Um, Meatball. Meatball. And who is the main character? Marilyn. Can you tell me about the main character? Um, she always misses her mom when she's at school. Okay. Uh, what was the setting? Her school. Her school. And the problem? She's always sad when her mom drops her off at school. How did you select that as a problem? Because she is always sad. Okay, and then what was the solution for Marilyn? She makes friends so she doesn't miss her mom. Okay, and hypothesize what you think would happen if the book kind of ended. I think maybe they'd go to recess and play on the swings. Yeah. And she wouldn't be sad. Okay. Has anybody ever been sad when they went to school and their mom dropped them off? Yeah. 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 So you can kind so of relate to, to Marilyn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So today, to recap our lesson, we have gone over our favorite books. We've gone over character, problem, solution, and setting. So can you guys give me some more examples of characters and why, how you find the main character in a book? The book talks about them a lot. To the book is about. Yeah, there's lots of pictures of them. Mm -hmm. mm. It says their name. They usually yeah. say their name. They're the main character. Okay, and settings. How do you guys know what to look for? Especially in picture books. Like the playground. It shows a picture of the playground. Yeah. It's where they're at. Most of the time. Yeah. And no, David, we wouldn't even know the setting if it wasn't for the pictures. Yeah. Because we have to watch for that. Um, and problem and solution. How come books have problems and solutions? Because that makes the story good. Yeah. Most books have problems and solution. <laughs> Alright, so again, how do we present information when we're presenting to a class? What are some rules we can follow? Look at the classroom. Yeah, you want to make sure you're looking at the classroom, not the teacher. And talk loud. Talk loud so even the person in the farthest back can hear. Any others? Don't put your paper in front of your face. Nice job. Okay. Do um, do we show the paper that we're reading? Sometimes? Yeah. If there's pictures on it you want to? Yeah, if there's Otherwise a picture. You can, yeah, otherwise you can hold it out. All right. So how important are book talks in class? Important. Because you need to know those four sections. Um, so if you're in a group of two to, if you're in a group of some students, would you guys be like to do a book talk? So yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. Does it helpful to fill it out? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, after recess, we are going to work on uh, box book boxes. And so we're, with our favorite books, we're going to fill a box with the everything that was in the book. And then you're going to share it to the entire class rather than just this group. So actually right now we're going to take a Kahoot quiz over problem setting, solution, and character. So it's only going to be four questions, but you guys are going to take it just to know what we learned. All right. Thanks, first grade.